Hello and welcome. In this chapter, we look at nutrition in living organisms. We can start by defining what nutrition is. And this is defined as the process by which living organisms obtain and utilize food substances or nutrients. Now, what is a food substance? Anything that is either taken into the body or is made inside the body from which the organism obtains nutrients is known as a food substance. Nutrients on the other hand is any substance that is a source of energy and structural components to a living organism. So from nutrients, living organisms obtain energy and substances that are used to make up structural components such as the cell membrane, organelle membranes, enzymes, and so on. So nutrition is a process by which living organisms obtain food substances. They can either make the food or obtain it from outside. Then from this food, they get their nutrients. And within the cells, the nutrients can be broken down to provide energy that drive many processes or the nutrients can be used to make up components of various parts of the cell. Energy is put to a number of uses in a living organisms. For example, this energy may be used in the synthesis of cellular materials for growth and repair. The energy may also be used in active transport of substances and it can also be used to provide locomotion in organisms such as animals. Structural components on the other hand are derived from amino acids which are types of nutrients, fatty acids and mineral salts. These molecules make up the cellular structures, for example, the cell and organelle membranes, the cell wall in plants, enzymes, and hormones. So all living organisms must acquire food to obtain nutrients. And then from these nutrients, they get their energy for various processes and also they obtain their molecules that are used as structural components of various parts of the cell and therefore the organism. Now, there are two different types of nutrition known as modes of nutrition. There are two modes of nutrition and these are one, there is autotrophism and two heterotrophism you can start by distinguishing the two autotrophism refers to the synthesis of food substances within the body of an organism. These food substances are made from simple substances using energy from an external source. Such organisms that are capable of making their own food are known as autotrophs. Example, green plants. While heterotrophism, on the other hand, is a mode of nutrition in which an organism takes in already made complex food materials from another organism. Such organism is said to be a heterotroph. So heterotrophs 
are organisms that obtain food substances that has been made by another organism. So they obtain their food materials from outside their body. They cannot make their own food. So they have an alternative source of food. That's why they refer to as heterotrophs.